Hey there, Kevin Colby here. One of the things I do to save a lot of time and actually add some coolness to my YouTube videos is I use motion effects, plugins from Motion VFX. In fact, I recently just did a video you ought to check out right there, about the three best plugins, and they all come from Motion VFX. Well, just when I think it can't get any better, it does. I get an email from Motion VFX saying, hey, we've just released Intuber 3, and I'm like, tell me more. I just bought it, and I want to show you on the computer a lot of the cool things it can do. So, Intuber 3 is even bigger than the other ones. It has 72 time-saving visual elements, including, <laughs> you ready for this, 3D animation. So they've actually taken some of the logos and made 3D, which is just cool. Backgrounds, lower thirds, new titles. So let's hop on the computer, and I'm going to show you a lot of the new features available in MTuber 3. It's going to be in your titles, just like all the other ones. MTuber 3. So, Let's see what we got. First of all, you got backgrounds. Now, you don't have to actually drop these on, but if you just play it, it gives you an idea what you get. So you, it looks like you've got five, uh, five different backgrounds. There is a reveal there that you can turn on and off. Let's just drop this one on, just see what it looks like. So we're gonna run over here and... Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. And if you get over here, uh, you can do a lot of different things. You can change the dots and stuff. So we're going to get out of that. Now, calls to action. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually drop all of these on the timeline, and we'll just quickly go through them. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this so quickly, actually, I'm running out of room. Oh, I'm not. Uh, Q will automatically drop it to your timeline. So here's some right here. These are call to actions. A lot of information. Now, again, how you you can go up into here and what it, whichever, just make sure you highlight the one you want. And look, you get all these custom things you can do. You can change everything or you can turn them off if you don't want something like that. You notice it going off right there. Uh, another call to action. Ooh, I like that. Now, this is one of the things that I that I kind of drew my eye to this new package is check it out the uh, the 3D so the Anna the um, in this case the the uh, well the YouTube hello Kevin talk uh, is is 3D if you notice right there and you can do things like this so let's say you didn't want your uh, the number on here you can turn that off and it'll still animate next one call to action smash that like button. And like, like any of the other plugins, you can move this anywhere you want. These are just actually where they, they come in. Now, I like this one a lot. In fact, I'll probably use this a lot, share the video, because I think that is something huge if somebody's really engaged in it enough. So here's one that is kind of cool. Now, if you're not familiar to, with what these are, you can literally drop in something here. So like, for example, I'll just show you uh, there's a picture of me. I'm going to apply the clip, and what I'm going to do is make it a tad bigger just so you can see it. It's kind of scary if you think about it, but you can actually go in here and then scale the avatar and, and things like that. And again, you can move the entire thing, so if you wanted this wherever... And keep in mind, you can combine these things, so you can actually use this over an end plate, too. There's another one, subscribe to my channel. You could go in and you could change all of that to whatever you wanted to. You could actually just add your name. I'll show you how easy it is. Bang. And then when you animate it. Now all of these default at that length. So if you want it shorter, you can just drag it or drag it longer. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to do with that. Again, you could add any type. It doesn't have to be your, your noggin like I did. It could be a, a logo or something like that. Let's see what else we got here. We got this. That's kind of big. Let me go ahead and kill the rest of these audios. Uh, you got this. Subscribe. Not a big fan of that one. And you got this. I'm just going to leave it over black. And again, if you take something like this here, let's, uh, let's just delete uh, that one, we'll drop this one here just so there's something under it. So when you come in here, you can have it say anything you want. You can turn the text on and off. 
you can change the font. Really, really cool. All right, so let's blow all of these. Then you got chapter bars. Now, this is actually interesting, and I'm gonna drag it out just a little bit. But, you know, YouTube, big on chapters now, which I, I would highly recommend you doing. There will be chapters in this. So this is actually kind of cool. The only way I figure this works is you drag this out over the length of your video if you, if you want that. But then, just like any of the plugins, notice these markers, you can go and move those wherever you want. And here they all are. If you don't want one, you turn it off. I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool. So let's say this chapter ran a long time. Now, as far as I know, these aren't clickable but they could relate to what you have in your uh, description. And if you're not using chapters, hmm, you, you, need to, you need to. So there's different chapter looks. Looks like there's five of them. Then there's screen corner. Um, I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this for, but here we go. We got different ones. I was kind of intrigued by this one. Again, drop zone. A drop zone just means you literally go and add something in it. Again, I'm just going to add add my mug just for that right there. And, and whatever you put in there, it doesn't matter. You can change it, right? Just like that. So I, I'm not sure what I would use these for, but it's kind of cool. And you've got a bunch of them. You've got one here that kind of mimics a phone. This one I think could be cool. In fact, I may use this in the video when I'm talking about the email I got. How about that? Uh, and you've got that one. Now, intros. Let's get rid of this. Intros. Now, these are kind of cool. So, what I'm going to do is, let's start back here, and I'm just going to drop all these in. And the way they are is that they, they will do reveals. Now, you can turn all this off, but just to show you, like this one I thought was really cool. So, I'm going to do that one. I'm gonna go back over here, oops. I'm gonna go back over here, and again, what we're looking for is a logo. Now, it can be any logo, and I'm gonna use the white, since this is red, and I'm gonna show you something right here. Uh, content scale, and I see it, notice it's moving everything. So if you don't wanna do that, you can go and scale up your logo right there. This says, welcome to my channel. Let's just change, just so you see this, it says, subscribe again we can change the font and now let me uh, let me move this one and let me move this one just to show you actually let me do this just to show you how it works now just imagine this is it's a cut right so i'm talking it animates ooh really really nice and it'll go back i think these have a lot of options i think you could use them for end screens here's another one really sweet Intro number four, there you go. If you have a channel that does a lot of different things, ooh, that one's kind of cool. That one, all right, so I'm gonna, let me show you, I'm gonna take this one back. We'll look at that one here in just a second. And this is one that is, it's actually kind of sweet. Now, all of these reveal off, but let's just say again, you don't want it to reveal off. You come here, you click it off, and what'll happen is it just, well, actually, it shouldn't have revealed off. But anyway. Oh, I, you know what? I'm on the wrong one. Huh! Go to this one and click off reveal, and then it, sh it won't reveal off. So it just cuts off. But you could use that as a transition. But let's go back to this one, and I want to show you something. So if you notice, it says welcome. So since my video or my channel is more about... Uh, where is it? Welcome. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, make videos. Oops. Always love to spell on the fly. Now, should have changed that. Welcome. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't change it to the right place. Here we go. Uh, make videos. There we go. So if we change it at different places, bang. Oh, that's sweet. Then again, like we could just do it before, we're going to drop the logo in. And again, it doesn't have to be anything. Here, I'll give you an example. I can drop my face in, see what I mean? But for this one, I'm gonna drop in that, and I'm just gonna leave the size and everything the same way, and so this is what this might look like. 
kind of cool. So those are the intros, and then you have these. Now, I, I gotta tell you, these are pretty cool. They are social media, but what I wanna show you is, again, let's just drop them all on the timeline. I think it's gonna be easier to look at them that way. So watch this. Now, I don't have Snapchat, I don't use Snapchat, but let's just, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this up and just make it bigger, just for sake of argument, right? But check this out. You can change the logo to 2D, keep it 3D. I think that kind of really makes it pop, but you can use Facebook. They have all of them in here. Instagram, uh, Patreon, TikTok, Twitch. Look at Twitch. Are you on Twitch? Uh, YouTube. And then you could literally put your channel name in here, like mine would be Kevin Colby. Uh, you know what? I've never wanted to be a dancer, but we'll just leave it at that. And then when you hit play, that's what you get. Isn't that sweet? And again, you can move the text anywhere within here. So they're just different ones. Patreon is here. Again, the drop zone for different uh, photos and logos. I do like this one a lot. That's one I might actually end up um, using more of. So you take it up there. And this is just one way you can you can expand it. You don't always have to go up to the inspector. I typically do. But again, if you were going to use that, you could put your name here. And uh, and that's pretty sweet. So that's, that's like a nice lower third or full screen. Again, that's what you can do with these. You can move them any way you want. You don't have to always use them lower third. Check this out. I won't drop all these in, but you've got... You've got these icons, right? So I'll just drop in the two that I use more than anything. So check this out. And it just kind of floats there. And you've got a lot of presets you can use here. You can actually make it 2D, 3D. So, you know, I'm not sure what I might use these for, but they've got them for Instagram, Patreon, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, and Vimeo. I do wish they had buy me a coffee. And you've got different tools here. So you've got an additional screen where you can put a screen in. You've got this. So this is one of those things where if you wanted to highlight something. So, and again, I can move it. I can make it bigger. Oops, I can make it uh, bigger like, like this. And so this might be cool if you were doing something where you wanted to highlight something, right? Check this one out. I like this one too. So this might be really good for products, um, tutorials and things. You got a plain section. It's just like the dotted one. You got a pointer. Um, you've got a pulsator, they call it. Uh, this one is, is kind of cool. So let's say you were doing something with a big list that you wanted to um, highlight. Again, you can make it bigger but you can have like your bullet points here if you wanted to. That's kind of cool. Um, this one, oh, and uh, Zoom. Zoom I really liked. So now watch this. I use, whoop. And I think this is cool for emphasizing things. And you can change, look at this. There's so many functions here you can do. And then there's split screen. Now split screen, uh, do I have anything to show here? Split screen, yeah, I do actually. Let me come over here and I'll just add, uh, let's add uh, that to this. Oh, I, I apologize for the face being so huge, but, and again, it, it animates on. So, but that's, that's actually really cool if you ever need to split your screen. And check out the typography. There's actually 12 different ones on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them all on and we'll just kind of scroll through. When I was looking at these earlier, there's one on here that I may actually start using for my lower thirds. Again, you can use for anything. So there's one, it's called typography one. That, that might be good for a name super. Not bad, but again, if you don't like the color behind it, you can always change it. They always give you that option right here. In fact, I'll just show you there. All right. Um, that one's actually kind of cool. I think it was this one. Nope. 
But you get the idea. Subscribe for more fresh content. Yes, this is the one I like. Now watch this. So here's here's an idea. Um, so first of all, we're going to make it a little bigger just so you can see it. And then I'm going to put up here, I'm going to go my name. And again, you can go different. I'm. You can always change the font if you want. I just have mine, Roboto. Notice it's Roboto, Roboto Light. And check this out. I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to move that out of the way just so you get to see it. So just imagine if you wanted to use this as like a name super or something like that. I'll just keep it over here to the side for now. We'll make it a tad smaller and watch this. So that's really cool, guys, is that this allows you to have your name up tied to YouTube. This is really cool for like um, emphasizing points in a video, which can also help you with chapters coming up next week. Again, very good if you do, uh, and again, you don't have to have it say episode. You could say, um, let's say you just wanted to say, oops. Let's say you wanted to say uh, part one. That's all you got to do, and it's, and it's that simple, and it will automatically animate, and you can move it wherever you want. Oops, sorry. This is great for quotes. Absolutely great for quotes, and... Let's say I wanted to have it beside me as I'm talking. Just look how easy it is. Oh, so nice. And the last one, thanks for watching. So here's the question of the day. Are you using plugins and motion effects for your YouTube videos? Let me know in the comments. And if you are not, I really think you're missing a huge opportunity to add some really cool effects and save a lot of time to your videos. So make sure you check out the other video I did on the three best plugins. And now I would add a fourth one with MTuber 3 for Motion VFX. And check out that video and also the other video about how you can save a ton of time with a cool app called ReCut. Hey, I'm Kevin Colby, and I'll see you next time in the next video.